29 years ago, they have travelled many roads separately, but now what has started out as a friendship has developed into love, and they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. We have all been invited here today to hear Wendy Louise Blundell and Stephen John Fraser as they promise to face the future together, accepting whatever may lie ahead, and for the world that God has created in them, with its beauty and its grace, with all that's around, with the strength that it offers and the peace that it brings, makes them truly grateful. Wendy and Steve. Nothing is easier than saying words and nothing harder than living them day after day. What you promise today must be renewed and re-decided tomorrow. At the end of this ceremony, legally, you will be man and wife but you still must decide each day that stretches out before you that you are to be married. You see, real love is something beyond the warmth and excitement of romance. It's about being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and the happiness of your marriage partner as about your own. But real love is not total absorption into each other either. It is looking outward in the same direction, together. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them, makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved with life in ways you would not dare to do alone. Who gives Wendy away to be married? Fantastic. Thank you very much. Would you please take the bouquet and you two step before me, taking each other's hands. I don't want to fall off this jetty. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Steve, I will ask. Will you take Wendy to be your wife? Will you love and respect her? Will you be honest with her always? Will you stand by her through ever whatever life may come? Will you make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with her? Wendy, will you take Steve to be your husband? Will you be honest with him always? Will you stand by him whatever may come? Will you make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with him? Okay. Fantastic. May I have the rings? Right, okay. Uh, Steve and Wendy have written their own vows and uh, with the rush and everything they've chosen not to try and memorise them so they'll be reading them from the card. Steve, would you take Wendy's ring and you can rest that on there and, and just read it up. Turn around the other way and you can rest it on there and hold it. Just on there. Beautiful. I want to be with you always just as you are. You're my true friend and my equal. And my marriage to you fills my heart with joy. I know together that we will have a long and loving life. Like you are the kindest person I've ever known. And for that, I will love you forever. I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy, when life seems hard, when our love is simple and when we are next. I promise to cherish every moment with you, these things I give to you today and all my days of my life. Stephen Wendy, we have heard your promise, promises you have to share your lives in marriage. We recognise and respect the covenant you have made. It is not a minister who is standing before you that makes your marriage real, 
but the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here before your friends and family and relatives and in the sight of God. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for the joining of this, fa this couple. Would you, Lord, strengthen them and give them all the grace they need for the future that lies ahead. And we do this in the name of the Father and the Son. Amen. Amen. We, we're going to move over there to sign the register because that's the legal part. And then we'll come back in a second.